My deepest apologies for not being able to join the battle. Ventrinia was something of a hassle. He attacked me. It was only a matter of time before his greed got the better of him. The closer we got to Bale, the more obsessed he became with Tianok, and with harnessing Tianok's power, just like Gadflo did. That's why he had to be stopped, and why we need to talk about our mission. Betrayed you? Never! You forgot the mission when you died. We're running out of time. I'll explain as we go. Lead on. I'm right behind you. The winter court was still as fallen snow as the jester danced and capered. Juggling knives and torches, he sang to his lords and ladies, but none smiled. Not an eyebrow raised as the sleepy jester entered the king. Fighting at your side. Because this was the day that Gadflo murdered the Winter Court. This was the day of the two eyes. duty that has been fulfilled through centuries. We keep the world from being consumed by greed, by war, and by Tianok. The ancient beast must stay sealed away at any cost. The world must never realize the terrible power Tianok offers. chopped the forest for arrow shafts, and Tianok's prismere spires rose up to consume what remained. Now our forest is shattered and screams of warfare seem to When Gadflo's army arose, we recognized Tianok's tainted influence. Only a few small part of all eternal creatures like the Fae. So you came to infiltrate Alabastra, find Tianok, and seal her away forever. And you use Ventrinio to get in, under the guard of Nathan's assistant. If you couldn't stop Tianok, she would use her pawns to fully escape her prison, and the world would be her new plaything. You had to try, even though the Fate Weavers said you were doomed. As always, the Fate Weavers were right. The greatest heroes of winter have always fallen from the Vale's pale boughs. From Pietra the Keen to Hulgan the Hungry. When the Tuatha claimed dominance over us, heroes arose to defend winter. Gadfell laughed and called up Tiernok's wrath. In a second, our most loyal heroes were impaled. When I found you in Dalentar, when I our saw you would come back gone, to life, never to be I wasn't sure how much you remembered. I couldn't be certain you would keep our secrets. I considered killing you then and there. Nothing personal. You would have done the same to me. But then I saw what you had become. I saw the new powers you wielded. And I saw how useful you could be. And so, instead of an arcane age, Gadflo would have an endless winter. Not the winter of the Fey, but of Tiernox's making. Gadflo has seen the visions of annihilation, of a blissful void across the world. It is not the will of own, but against nature. The ageless decay of our people has become a weapon against yours. You, the Deathbringer and Siegebreaker, the usurper of fate and twice born, must become the Godslayer. 
in happier times, the Winter Court would come here to bathe in the colors of the midnight gardens. Night violets and pale moonflowers blossomed in a field of bluest grass studded with frost. When stars aligned, the Aurora Borealis danced with the blues. Last time you came here, you were destined to die. This time, your destiny is up to you. At long last, Gadflo has crushed the Winter Fay, and his Tuatha rules us utterly. No longer are we reborn into this world, unless his god Tiamat wills it so. This monster has crushed us, and our kind shall pass from this world. It is the only immortality any of us may hope for now. Now we have a chance to finally complete our mission. Let's put an end to Gadflow before his bargain frees Tiamat on the way. This must have been a lot for you to take in at once, but I need you to be clear on who you are and what you need to do. A lot has changed since you were here last. It isn't going to be as easy this time. And last time, it killed you. Oh, she's a creature with incredible power. A dragon. But she is no simple lizard in some child's tale. She has a power rivaled only by the gods. Thousands of years ago, the ancient Alpha sealed her in the Amethyn between this world and the world of magic. And there, she went mad. As her prison weakened over time, she was able to tempt Gadflow into helping her gain enough power to break free. And if she escapes fully, it will mean the end of all mortal life. Tiernot's revenge for tens of thousands of years of imprisonment. That's why people like you and I have dedicated our lives to keeping Tiernot's secret from the world. We were supposed to keep Tiernot hidden from the world. Anyone who learned too much had to die. But when Gadflo found her, you were the one who volunteered to kill him and seal Tiernok away once more, even though you were fated to fail. It took every trick we had to get you here the first time, and you still died. I don't know if you planned to be resurrected, but knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised. If you only think you're ready, then you're not the same cocky bastard that I used to work with. Just make sure you do the job right this time. You can't count on having a third life. And it'd be a shame to lose the woman you've become. Ha! Huh. I have more important things to do than love. And so do you. But I do trust you with the fate of my world. It may not set your heart a flutter to hear it. Lead on. I'm right behind you.
An illusion. Something's not right. Where's Gadflow hidden? If Gadflow isn't here, then he must be hiding further underground. Someplace closer to the source of the Prismere. Definitely. The war's not over yet. Whatever bargain Gadflow made with Tiernok, it's about to pay off. When that happens, the world will not be spared her wrath. In the heart of Alabastra is the former unseelie city of Baal. Beneath the Winter King's court, there is the Cave of Amethyn. It's a place of tremendous power. It is where Turnok is imprisoned, and where you died. Somehow Gadflo found a way to reach out to Tiernok. Or perhaps she was able to seek out his twisted mind. She offered him power, and with it, he began the Tuatha. No wonder Gadflo thinks she's a god. We were two of the people who were supposed to keep Tiernok hidden from the world. Anyone who learned too much had to die. But when Gadplow found her, you were the one who volunteered to... It took every trick we had to get you here the first time. Then Trinia was right. Tiernok is no god. She has almost as much power. And is every bit as dangerous to the world as any dark god. Her powers raised Gadplow from a jester to a warlord. And in return, his army would usher in a chance for her to enter this world and consume it. She's imprisoned deep in the Amethyn, but Gadflow's war has weakened her bonds. There's no time to spare. If she gets free, our world is lost. Let's go. deep in the Amethyn, but her prison is weakening by the moment. upon us. it against you. Perhaps it is not inaccurate to think of her as a god. We cannot let Gadflo free Ternok. Listen, you're the only one who has the power to stop her. Uh, uh. 
You chose this? What does she mean by that? I gave you freedom, and now you have now freedom. Only you have the power to reseal Tiernan inside the Amethyn. I must keep the secret of her existence once Tiernan is pushed back into her prison. But that leaves one question. Can I trust you to keep Tiernan's secret? There are things in this world that must remain hidden. If the power of the dragons were widely known, You've seen what has happened here. Gadlo tapped a fraction of her power. He upset the great cycle of the Fey and waged a genocidal war on the young races. Just coming in contact with her power managed to free you from fate's bonds. And if you can turn that freedom against her, she will have no power over Amalur. Nothing like you has ever existed before. As always, there's no way of knowing your future. If you're victorious, it may be the last time you change the fate of the world. Even if you fall back into fate's weave once her influence is gone from this world, it will be a far better fate than what Tiernok's emergence would bring. That is excellent. After all that you've done, it would have been a shame for you to die a second time. If you do escape, I will be watching you. And know this, anyone who learns the truth of what happens here, I will silence myself. Go. Stop Tiana from fully entering this world. But remember, my blades will always be at your back. Tiana's power is immense. She just tore up a splinter of what you could have been and turned it against you. When she killed you, that much power must have torn you free of the entire tapestry of fate. Nothing in the world is fated to stop Tiana. That's why you're the only one who has a chance. I'm just here to make sure you take it. This way. <laughs> 